Hello, thanks for joining us on TVC News this hour. The Police Service Commission has approved the appointment of AIG's Frank Mba and Balasi Roma as Deputy Inspectors General of Police. DIG Shiruma was replaced, uh, will replace DIG Ali Janga, who has retired from service and represented the Northeast Geopolitical Zone and the police management team. The commission also approved the pr promotion of 14 commissioners of police to the next rank of Assistant Inspectors General of Police and 22 Deputy Commissioners of Police to commissioners. These decisions were high points of the 21st plenary meeting of the commission presided over by its chairman, Solomon Arasi. 39 chief superintendents of police were also promoted to the tra rank of assistant commissioners of police. And President Bola Tinobo has met with former agitator and prominent Niger Delta leader, Asari Dokubo, at the State House. During his meeting with the president, the former agitator accused the military of oil theft in the Niger Delta. President Inubu earlier held consultations with some leaders of the Niger Delta region, including former managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Timi Alaibe, and former director general of, of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Dakoku Peterside. Since his inauguration, President Inubu has taken a tough stance on tackling crude oil theft in Nigeria. And reactions have continued to trail the seating of the 17 local government secretariats as ordered by the Inspector General of Police, Al-Kali Baba. Some residents who spoke with TVC News appealed to the affected parties to, rep to respect the rule of law and let peace reign. Our Plato State correspondent, Phnom Joshua, reports. Plato State has been in the news following developments across the 17 council areas and just the state capital. The suspension of the 17th Council Chairman and the eventual appointment of new ones by the State Governor did not go well in some quarters, as the SAC Chairman were all from the opposition APC. In the wake of this, police authorities in the state allegedly following orders by the Inspector General of the Police, Mr. Al-Kali Baba, have reportedly sealed and taken charge of the Council Secretariats in the 17th Council areas of the state. The Inspector General of Police has therefore directed that all the 17 local government areas in the state secretariat be sealed up for now. The SAC chairman argued that this act is contrary to local government law and indicates an alleged witch hunt over party differences. They insist they will not vacate their positions and official duties until the expiration of their tenure in October 2024. Residents we chatted with on the issue shared their different thoughts. They are also pleading and also appealing to the authorities, particularly the governor, to respect the rule of law uh, so that the citizens will live in peace. We already have issues to contend with, uh, issues of the relative peace that we have on the plateau. Uh, somehow, somehow it's been truncated. We have so many things to contend so that we can have development and peaceful coexistence on the entirety of the state. So you cannot come through the back door because we want to dissolve the local government and try to create a narrative that does not exist. So as far as I am concerned, the duty of the Commissioner of Police is to maintain law and order. And what they have done is the right step in the right direction. We are practicing democracy. Uh, the House of Assembly suspended the 17 local government chairmen on the ground that they will not be able to render their accounts of their operations. And once you are suspended, you, you, that means you will be proved, you will be under investigation. But this question of I, nobody can suspend me, local government is autonomous, it shouldn't be like that. The police authorities are shows that the personnel deployed across the 17 council area secretariat will remain there until further notice from Joshua, TVC News, Joss. Still talking politics, spokesperson of the 9th Senate, Ajibola Bashiru, has challenged former governor of Ocean State, Rauf Arigbashala, to declare the political party he belongs to. Senator Ajibola Bashiru said the refusal of Rauf Arigbashala to support and vote for the APC in recent elections in the state showcased him as a non-member. TVC News correspondent Rafi Hamid reports. Here are members of the APC in Osho State, and most importantly, 
the Oshun Central Central District. They converged on the constituency office of Ajibala Bashiru in Oshubu to welcome him back home, having served as a Senate spokesperson in the Ninth Senate. The lawmaker used the opportunity to give account of his stewardship during his four years at the Alo Chamber. And it's on record that the Constitutional Review Committee of the Met Assembly made radical reforms in the area of constitutional reforms, which are catalysts for engaging good government and development of our people. I was also a member of the Senate Committee on Harmonization of Electoral Bill 2022. That finalized work on the Reformist Electoral Act 2022. I was actively involved in the legislative work leading to the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act and other impactful legislation in the United Assembly. He wants his successor to pursue the Federal Medical Center Bill Ushubo that he initiated. Speaking on the setback of APC in the state, Ajibala Bashiru narrated how he won former Governor Rauf Aregeshola against factionalizing the party. He described the former minister's plea for forgiveness as mischievous. The former minister was my leader and I did one boss. I advise him and I have a written memo that I sent to him that as a leader of the party, no matter what issue you have, no matter what grievance you have, you should not engage in factionalization of our party. And I say this and I know that one day I will be my time. I put it in white and black. And that if there's any issue at all, we may to that should well have the TV and Babadisa could so that issue to be solved. He throws his weight behind Professor Isaac Adewole's repositioning committee set up to resolve the internal issues of the party in the states. I've since sent my thoughts by way of memorandum to Professor Isaac Adewole's committee on repositioning our party. I believe our leaders, Baba Bisa Kondo and His Excellency, and I think we are committed to leading our party to winning ways in the next round of election. He also berated the attack of Fushubu over Jimmy Olani for playing politics with the traditional stool of the town. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Ushubu. To all the story, the National Youth Service Corps has expressed concern over the institution's non-compliance with the procedures for data uploads of prospective core members. The Director General of the NYC explained that the non-compliance is responsible for mobilization of unqualified candidates for National Youth Service. Mandates of the National Youth Service Corps is to mobilize eligible graduates of Nigerian origin for national service. But the scheme has been confronted with occasional mobilization of unqualified persons, many of whom have been detected by NYC feed officers. This pre-mobilization workshop is to interface with student affairs officers of core producing institutions and other key mobilization officers to critically evaluate the mobilization process for improved service delivery. The Director General of the Scheme voices his concerns as it relates to mobilization of core members. He challenges those involved in mobilization process to be more focused and ensure qualified candidates are not denied enrollment for service. Permit me to use this forum to once again voice our concern about observed dichotomy between uploads and hard copies documents of prospective core members, which has unfortunately always led to their denial of enrollment for service. A lot is still required to be done if we are to achieve the goal of a seamless and excellent mobilization process. We must continue to make conscious efforts that will thoroughly eradicate the growing trend of data disparity between uploads by the co-producing institutions and the information supplied by prospective core members during the NYC online registration. The theme for the workshop is re-strategizing the NYC mobilization process for optimal performers in the Golden Jubilee era. It stresses the scheme's commitment to creating an environment that fosters growth and development of the mobilization process. The lessons learned from the implementation of the sessions reached at the last workshop are expected to influence deliberations towards better performers in this 2023 Bajbi mobilization exercise. Helen 
Osamedei Kings. TVC News, Abuja.